Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing great. So Sandman season one finally dropped on Netflix today and I just watched the first episode and I wanted to talk about it. Uh, those of you who are familiar with my channel and have been watching my booktube videos would know that I am an absolute Neil Gaiman fan. Although I'm reading The Sandman but I have read some of his novels and they are my absolute favorites, the top favorite so far is Ocean at the End of the Lane, those who have a thing for fantasy or for horror, I think they love that book. So if you like the genre and you've not read the book, I would suggest pick it up and take a look. Apart from that, I've been reading uh, Dune Masiha, which is book two from the Dune series. And I have to say, I'm not as impressed as I was with Dune, the first book. That book absolutely blew my mind. It was the bedrock, the foundation of modern fantasy and science fiction in so many different ways. I've made two detailed videos. In one video, I have talked about it. In another one, I have talked about it to a friend who happens to be a professor of literature and it was a deep dive for the book. So those of you who are interested can take a look at those videos as well. Coming to Sandman, uh, quickly briefing how I'm familiar with the series. So I have read the first volume of the graphic novel and that's where I'm at. I have not read the Sandman Overture. I'm gonna visit it later because the book came out later and I think that's the order I'm gonna follow. I also have this wonderful gorgeous edition of Sandman graphic novels. Uh, it's a total of five volumes. It's called The Absolute Sandman. So this is the edition that I have. I was switching reading from this edition and this edition. Uh, because this one's a little heavy guys, it's, it becomes a little cumbersome to read, but the, uh, the print is larger, the, the panels are larger and it's a different reading experience. It's, it's just beautiful. But, uh, and this one on the other hand is, uh, is more portable. It's easy to read, very convenient. So I was switching between the two. And also when I'm reading from this, I spent like a bomb to buy this so i have to be very careful with this one it comes in this beautiful slip case which is quite thick and nice and it goes in it like this and that's where it is anyway so coming to the show guys i absolutely loved it uh, but before that uh, coming to this particular volume from what i understand this season is based on the whole of volume one and the whole of or a part of volume two uh, from the Sandman series. When I was reading this particular volume, I did struggle a little when I started reading it, but then I got a hang of it. And towards the end of this volume, I loved what the book had to say. I think uh, it was said beautifully. And that's something which most of us uh, need to understand at one point of time or another in our life. Uh, that said, let's see how the show accommodates that thought and idea. So I've just seen episode one and I'm going to make the videos episodically just the way I did for Wheel of Time. Now I know the season one of Wheel of Time did not fare very well. A lot of uh, us didn't really enjoy it. I somehow don't mind it, but I know it's a very controversial take, so I'm not going to get into that. It's not a video about Wheel of Time, but in case you want to take a look at that, there's a whole playlist for almost every episode. You can go and watch that. Season one, episode one, Sandman. The first thing that struck me was the humanization of Morpheus, which came so strongly in this first episode, which was something which I felt was kind of not there as strongly in the graphic novel. You can feel what Morpheus is feeling. You can feel the emotions. That was something which I was not able to connect with when I was reading the graphic novels. How the whole thing has come to life, how the graphics and how the panels of the comic, they have been translated and adapted. It is just so stunning and so beautiful. Guys, there has been so much of detail and so much of thought and so much of care that has been taken to make this series that uh, you know you have read the comic and uh, still it, it comes across so beautifully. There was this one sequence, uh, I can't get into the details, I don't want to put any spoilers, but the backdrop, the, the, the whole atmosphere, the, the, the mansions, everything, it just absolutely comes to life and it's 
just so beautiful so much so that there was this one panel which i was just looking at when i finished watching the show and uh I just wanted to take a look at how it was in the graphic novel. There, there are these two guards who are uh, sitting and reading. And in the graphic novel, one of them is reading Stephen King's It and the other one's reading this newspaper, The Sun. And in the show, they are holding the exact same things. The episode is structured wonderfully, I think. It starts just the way the graphic novel starts and it ends at a point which kind of compels you to watch the next episode. I, I think uh, all said and done, just watch this first episode and see how you like it and form an opinion of your own. Now, I haven't watched any other review for Sandman as yet because I came across a few but they were for the whole season and I'm gonna go slow so maybe I'll watch them later but I have no idea how this show is being received as of now. I did read some before the launch of the show and they were largely positive. Some were comparing it with Game of Thrones as well. Um, those of you who have been following my channel would know that I do not have a thing for violence and gore. And thankfully, the first episode was not high on that front. And so I was really able to enjoy the episode as well. Funny thing, guys, I was working on this fantasy series long time back. Uh, I just pulled out my notes as well. And it dates back to 2011. And uh, I, was, I was creating the story in which uh, a devil was trapped and captured and kept there for centuries and interestingly i had the same device that has been used in the graphic novel as well there's this part where you know uh someone uh, purposely uh, the i had not read the graphic novel back then but it was exactly the same thing so i while i was watching the show and when i was reading the graphic novel as well i was like you know, there are certain things which come to you so uh, naturally and, and it's because the world we live in kind of di dictates that. Anyway, one thing that struck me was that this episode is primarily based on the first issue of the Sandman no uh, comic and it's 40 pages of the graphic novel. Now, these 40 pages were converted into almost one hour for the series and and i felt it was so well done now as i already mentioned i have not read the overture maybe some parts were accommodated from that as well but still it was quite interesting to see this 40 page issue being converted into one whole hour anyways guys so uh if if this genre interests you if you have been watching uh, the sandman trailers and all of that uh, do give this episode a go and, and if, if you watch it, let me know how you like it. There is a very interesting video on YouTube in which Neil Gaiman sits and talks about the trailer and talks about how they casted which character and explains that in detail. So that's one video which I would recommend you guys to watch if you find this series interesting. Watch the show, let me know and until next time, keep reading, keep watching, keep listening. Cheers.